Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shantina and today we're going to be talking all about protective styles and is protective styling good for your type hair. So today, so today I want to talk a little bit about protective styling and why I personally still love protective styling. First of all, what is protective styling and is it good for all hair types and textures? So what is protective styling? Protective styling is a style that allows you to tuck away your ends, your natural hair, the ends of your natural hair. These will be your styles like twist, braids, high buns, wigs, weaves. I think that's pretty much it. But these styles that I just named protect your ends, but do they all protect your edges? Because a protective style is just not about the ends. It's about your edges, your hair all the way through, right? You wanna make sure that your scalp is properly nourished and you want to make sure that your ends are properly nourished and everything in between you know you want to maintain the same integrity now i've had many protective styles some good for my hair a lot of them bad for my hair because in my earlier natural hair care journey i didn't understand like the edges or my scalp everything was just protect your edge i mean protect your ends protect your ends but it was just counterproductive because i was protecting my ends but i really wasn't protecting like my scalp or my edges and for me protective styles are done best like every three weeks two weeks three weeks four weeks is like pushing it because my texture, um, my porosity levels of my hair, it's low, well, it's medium density, low porosity, and it's not the like the thickest. So for me, I need to be able to get into, onto my scalp and my hair strands and replenish that as often as possible, especially if I'm using um, things like oils and butters or gels or anything like that that just compounding all of that product onto my strand so for me three weeks is where I like to keep it four weeks five six I'm like pushing it every time I take my hair down it whether I've had a weave or braids I just noticed that once it gets to that five and six week stage I notice my hair becomes very dry and brittle so you definitely need to know your hair you got to know your hair so you can know what type of protective styles work best for you and the question is well which type of protective style is you know best for you and I would probably say for me, the best protective style would be um, like when I twist my hair and just pull it up into a bun or a, a low bun, anything like that. The less pressure, the, ten the less tension on my scalp and on my edges is the just a simple twist and tuck type of um, protective style. The one that does the most damage to my hair would be probably my, my most favorite <laughs> protective style. And it's like a high bun or um, a high ponytail with like fake hair put into it. Um, I just like the way the high buns just frame my face. But if I am not super careful and very gentle when it comes to my edges, I will snatch those babies out. So for what I do, I haven't had any issues, you know, with my edges, even though I wear that particular hairstyle. Um, what I tend to do is use like a Jamaican black castor oil to kind of like massage or lubricate um, my edges before I put on any type of edge control or gel along the perimeter um, of my hair because my hair is very thin you know I'm not a young girl but my baby hairs are definitely still babies 
So I have to be very gentle with them. So I've just learned how to pull my baby hairs out before I start molding my hair up into that high bun or even a low bun for that matter. Another thing that I notice is what I need to do if I want to do the high bun, I have to be open to moving it around my head because if you keep the high bun for so long, you will notice that you will start thinning at the top of your head too. So I like to kind of move mine from the top to the back, from the top. Sometimes I'll even move it to the side or I put two um, ponytails in the back and connect them in the back or something like that. Just want to make sure that you are moving that ponytail around now when you're choosing which protective style would be best um, for you you want to make sure that you understand your hair your hair um, texture your density do you have thin hair strands do you have thick hair strands do you have low porosity do you have high porosity to me all of those things play a big factor in that and let me tell you how if you have thin fine medium to low density hair you want to be um, doing protective styles that don't have hair added to it because when you add hair to your soft um, fluffy low density hair it tends to weigh it down, put stress on it, put a big strain on it, and it ends up breaking anyway. That's why people who have really fine hair um, should not really be looking into doing dreadlocks because dreadlocks is very heavy. Dreadlocks hold a lot of oil. It holds a lot of dirt. And if you don't have a lot of density and coarseness to your hair, your hair is going to suffer in that dreadlock state. So just another, you don't want to do a dreadlock if you have fine hair. With fine hair, you can probably do your, like your low ponytails, your low buns, but you want to make sure that you are taking your edges out and making sure that um, you don't put a lot of strain or stress on your scalp while you're trying to maintain this um, protective style another protective style that you can use that you can do is maybe a full closure wig that means that you probably just have your hair just either twist two strand twist under there or corn roll back I do like that because you can take that wig off get in there still moisturize your hair massage your hair and all the things that you should be doing when it comes to like maintenance and babying your hair if you have thick, coarser hair, whether it is very fine or like medium, you can probably get away more so with a protective style where you can add hair to your already hair and it's not going to be too heavy and too coarse or dense to handle the pressure of that you know added hair for your protective style so when it comes to again when it comes to coarser hair or thicker hair you pretty much can do any protective style you want whether it be cornrows back two strand, two strand twist braids puffs the only thing that I would say is you probably want to stay away from like buns or tight ponytails, buns, whether it be at the top or in the back, because I know um, when you have thicker, coarse, thicker hair, you have a lot of hair, it's coarser, you're using a lot of products just to get it slicked down and you're manipulating it in so many ways and different parts and pulling it all together that by the time you get that big beautiful luscious hair of yours into a little bitty ponytail this size your scalp has been stretched and so much tension is being put on your scalp that those type of protective styles is just not good for you okay so you want to stay away from those tight ponytail type of styles if you have thick coarse hair and again if you have hair like mine that is you know not as thick not as coarse 
um, more on the medium density, then that's when you're going to be doing those no added hair protective styles. You can do a wig and probably you can do a ponytail or bun or puff if you are maintaining and protecting your edges. And then I will say probably for me, the least, the protective style that you should be doing the least will probably be a weave because a weave, it's in for six weeks. So that's right there for me, that's too long. Um, you can't get to your scalp because a lot of time they use a net over it. So you really can't get to your scalp to do anything. So you're not cleaning, cleaning it. It's probably, it's braided down so long that it could turn into a matted situation or drying situation and you lose more hair once you take everything out than you even had, you know, so try to stay away from the weaves will i do a weave yes every once in a while i do um but i get my weaves done by my mom so it doesn't cost me a lot of money so i can come out of my weaves a shorter time okay so weaves is the least my least favorite all right so there you have it some tips and tricks on how you can bring in protective styles into your hair care daily regimens. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel. And as always, remember to stay focused and keep moving forward in a positive direction, forsaking all negativity that tries to invade your space. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.